<laughs> Okie dokie. So, left hand one was your before. And as we said, lesson one, lesson two, there's obviously a distinct shape to your shot. All doing that. Going high, going a bit right, losing distance, obviously. And your kind of way to fix that or trying to manage it was, okay, I'm going to swing the golf club now over to the left there. Okay? By dropping the shoulder, dropping the head, throwing the arm to the top, or to help that even more so, swing back steep up here and just chop into the ball left and just swing it left, left, left. So you look at your swing on the left-hand side now as you go back. Very, very arms leaving away from the body. Very rigid in that left arm. Very high with that club. Head dropping down there big time as your club shaft is coming through, basically through kind of your neck and ear area. So your swing plane now is that, which is very, very steep. We want to get it more kind of on that angle, okay? So your practice swings now are kind of an exaggeration of how far behind you can you get your arms, okay? This was an exact, that's a good back swing. That's much more towards your toe line there. That back swing is not bad, okay? If we go back to this back swing here now, just look, compare and contrast those two, yeah? I can see your head, <laughs> all right? So you're getting further. And that's, again, exaggeration. So if you make three or four of these practice swings here in your practice swing, over time, that movement's going to start feeling the norm. So you swing back to here. That was a bit shorter, I suppose, but then move the hip down. Better moving with the lower half there. That one there, still good again. Left arm is all along your chest there. And these feel like your hands are kind of over here somewhere. Miles behind you, deeper swings, okay? Getting that club working to the top of the back swing. And then from there, feel the club moving down as your hip moves towards target. Everything stays a bit more kind of back, so your club path in the golf ball, put your hand in the golf. That, that club now is swinging towards the target there, yeah? There's like a, a definite, distinct curve. A distinct kind of curve with the path as your club's coming in here and around the circle, like on that explainer outside. It's not kind of from across here, just a big chop in the golf ball, yeah? Because when you came down here, now you're throwing your arms outside, your arms are well away from your body. See the shaft there? At this position, the shaft is kind of there. Well, mm. it's way out to the golf ball, hit the outside part of the golf ball, shoom, it shoots off to the right. Okay, so a big old hoiky hooky, a big old hoiky slicey, shanky, not a very consistent shot. And if you do it with the golf club, it's just a very low left shot. Okay? And he said, most of your shots go left now, aren't they? Because that club is swinging this direction, partly because a month or two ago, you had to. Now you don't have to, doesn't mean you, don't, you won't do it. Okay? Because your brain kind of still ingrained as a sort of feeling. Okay? So, as much as you can get the practice swing now. So these practice swings, you can see, are quite exaggerated for you, but not too bad, okay? Then when you step to the golf ball, what we'd expect is a back swing kind of in between, so not too flat, but not as steep as you were, okay? That's not too bad, too fair. Now there's a little bit of a head drop here, as we can see. That's kind of your power move to the golf, but at least that club now is coming through your right shoulder rather than your right ear. So we're moving the club shaft through practice to there from there to hopefully sometime about there okay now if we actually look at that in terms of actual spacing i would say you probably moved that swing plane down from there to there i know that the width of your ear so about what that that much okay. not a lot is it really but it seems to you like you're miles behind you there yeah mm. as if the ball's going to go way to the right okay as that club starts coming back in the golf ball here now hand near it the path is a, at least the shaft now at this point is kind of on the ball as opposed to oh, there. over here somewhere so it's getting nearer to where the ball should be and where your plane and nothing else should be on there okay as you then come through much better strike as we can see ball in down the range obviously and you follow through kind of not realizing what it needs to run sort of being lifted up this way because that's always what you've had to do because you mm. chopped across it okay so if we can get that sensation, then Mitch, that club is working behind you, behind you, behind you this way. Get it working flatter, more around, and then your hips can start moving to, to target. We can get the ball moving up towards this way. What we don't want to do is your club swinging out here on the way back and then just chopping it way left on the way through. Yeah. It's just going to give you a very steep, diggy kind of swing, okay? Um, and just if you make a good contact, it'll be a low left shot, or it'll go back to be a slicey one again, or it might just be a pull hook left, okay? And you said most of your shots are going left now. So we've got to try and revert that path to more in this direction now, out to the right, as opposed to going left. You haven't got to fight against a slice anymore now. I don't think in any one of these sessions now, or this session today now, 
have you sliced it right? You've hit it right with a shank, which is the club too far outside the line, as we can see here now, and you catch what we call the hold of the club, and it shoots off sideways. That's a different kettle of fish altogether. But nothing is actually sliced left to right, is it? So your face isn't open anymore now, and it hasn't been for probably a good, a good while with your practice. It's now reverting to a change the path, and you've got to just think, what does that feel like? The first time I said, I'll move it towards the I don't feel natural, because it's never felt natural in the past, because you've never been able to do that. Okay, it's always been a move you've sort of fought against because you've had to try and swing it as far left as you could. So, with practice, get that left hip moving this way. Okay, when you're on the golf course with Andrew or on the range, whatever, mm. send me some photographs, send me some videos, keep in touch. Okay, I want to see a face on move, I want to see your hips moving towards target. Okay, get that club swinging flatter around you, and don't be afraid to do these practice swings one at a time. Do a practice swing, stop. If you can do four or five of them, you'll get to build up that movement, it become more and more comfortable over time. Okay, does that kind of make sense then, yeah? Yeah, definitely. See the pros we've gone through now, okay? You've gone from sort of hitting that way to that way. We've now got to start going that way, okay? But it'll take a bit of time. Yeah. Okay, mate? Right, I have a few more to finish off then, buddy, all right? Yeah.